My family and I were very poor because the farm we lived on was often plagued by drought. To survive, we had to catch as much water as we could whenever it rained and store it in big containers. We used the water to grow vegetables and for us to drink. But within two weeks of standing around, the water's surface would be completely covered in mosquito larvae. It was disgusting, and to make things worse, my dad forced me to eat as many larvae as possible, always arguing that they were a rich source of protein. But I would have rather starved than eating insect babies. I was used to starvation anyway. I regularly went without food for more than a week. And while starvation is terrible for a child's development, I wouldn't say that it's painful. Rather, you just feel tired all the time. And I wasn't the only one who had to drink dirty water. Two of my classmates from primary school died after drinking water from a dirty pond and getting diarrhea. Diarrhea was a common cause of death here in Central America. It can quickly deplete you of all your body fluids, and just recently, I read that to this day, 1.6 million people around the world still die each year because of diarrhea. Now you better understand just how poor I was growing up. The only valuable asset my family had turned out to be me. My mom had always told me how pretty I was, and at age 12, she took me by bus into the big city far away, where we visited a model agency. They took photos of me, and the cameraman even told me, Wow, you are so skinny. I love it. Afterward, everything changed. I was frequently booked for photo shoots and was able to earn my family a thousand US dollars a month. Suddenly, we had enough food to eat, but there was one problem. Until that point, my older sister Selena and I had been very close. Once, when she saw me being pushed around in the schoolyard by two boys, she asked her own classmates, who were much bigger than my bullies, to revenge me and make sure I never got bullied again. So when school was over, my sister's classmates pulled my bullies away from the street and into some abandoned warehouse. I didn't see what happened to them with my own eyes, but they must have been severely beaten up because they both ended up in a hospital for several weeks. One of them even suffered a permanent knee injury. I know that because he's limping to this day, which serves him right. My sister Selena made sure I was safe, but family relationships are complicated. You can love your sibling and hate them at the same time. And once I became the breadwinner for my family doing photo shoots almost every weekend, my mom started giving me all her attention. She told me, you are so pretty. One day you'll be rich and famous. And meanwhile, she completely neglected my sister. It was obvious that I had become the favorite child. I didn't know how much my sister was hurting until mom told her to skip school to help prepare my makeup for a photo shoot. That's when she suddenly started crying. I asked what was wrong and she, without looking into my eyes, pushed me back on my chair so violently that it fell over. My head bounced off the ground and I had a serious concussion. I was shocked. Was she really so jealous of my success? Just because I was a successful model and she wasn't? Didn't she see that if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have any food on the table? I got so mad at her, I felt like setting her room on fire. But then I remembered something. Today was my sister's birthday. We had forgotten about it because of my photo shoot, and that's why she was so angry. I panicked and ran to my mom screaming, Mom, we forgot Selena's birthday. It's today. Who cares about her? All that matters is that you look good for your photo shoot. I hate to say it, but I think my mom just stopped caring for my sister. Later that day, I wanted to buy my sister a birthday cake. My mom was reluctant, so I had to bug her for a whole hour to change her mind. Unfortunately, it all ended badly. I gave my sister the first piece of cake. I wanted this to be her big day, but when I went to have a piece too, my mom told me, no, you can't have cake because you have to stay thin. Let your sister become fat if she wants to. My mom was so mean again that Selena ran out of the room crying. And to make things worse, my mom started eating my sister's birthday cake herself, one piece after the other, until it was completely gone. Meanwhile, I went to my sister telling her I was sorry. She responded, I should cut your hair off and throw acid in your face. Then you'll be as ugly and worthless as me. Don't be silly. You aren't ugly and I love you no matter how you look. My sister wasn't listening though. She pinched me really hard and said, Tell the truth. Tell me you think I'm ugly or I'll pinch you harder. It really hurt, so I told her, Yes, you are really ugly. Thank you for being so honest, but if my life is ruined, I'll make sure to ruin yours too. In the weeks that followed, she bullied me nonstop. 
She locked me into the bathroom so I'd be too late for my photo shoots and she kept waking me up at night so I looked tired and ugly on the photos. One time, I think she even put anti-constipation pills into my breakfast because that whole day I couldn't stop running to the toilet. Meanwhile, I tried to reconcile with her and said, I know you hate me, but I have a gift for you. Take this. Wow, an iPhone? But you know what? Two iPhones are better than one. Then she took my iPhone away too, and I guess she later sold it for a quick buck. This was the tipping point. I had enough of my sister's erratic behavior and told my mom about all the things she had done to me. My mom went nuclear, of course, and told my sister, Listen to me, you bastard. You are contributing nothing to this family. If you misbehave one more time, I'll throw you on the streets. And from now on, you will do anything your sister asks you to do. I don't care if it's buying groceries or wiping her ass. My tough acting sister suddenly turned soft and said, Okay, mom. She stopped being mean to me, but I was still mad at her. I told her, you're going to regret stealing my phone, and then I made her clean up my room. It was odd, but I kind of enjoyed watching her on her knees tidying up my messy room. For months, she had constantly bullied me, twisting and pinching my arms, and this was my revenge. Meanwhile, as I got older, I got better job offers as a model. At 16, I even secured a $50,000 US dollar deal for participating in a fashion campaign for H&M. The whole photo shoot took two whole days, and it was a big breakthrough for me. Afterward, we had enough money to rent a two-bedroom apartment. I thought one bedroom was for my mom and one for me and my sister. But then my mom told my sister to sleep in the maid's room, which was really just a small storage room with a mattress on the floor and no windows or air conditioning. The way my mom and I treated my sister was cruel, but I didn't understand the damage it did to her until she came home one day looking like she was on drugs. Had that sweet girl that had defended me against my bullies in high school really turned into a junkie? She looked completely spaced out and I immediately told mom about it. To my relief, she took my sister to a doctor who tested her for drugs. The next day's results showed she had tested positive for various drugs, the worst being fentanyl. I guess this was the excuse my mom had been waiting for. She turned to Selena and said, Leave this apartment right now and never come back. I was shocked. There was no way I would let my sister become homeless. I said, No, Selena will stay. I make all the money in this family and I decide. Fine, but then she's your problem now. Of course, I had no idea how to help a drug addict. And Selena kept stealing things from our apartment, probably so she could buy more drugs. I was young and didn't had turned my sister into another person, and I still regret what I did next. I had just gotten the phone number of a boy I really liked. I hoped he would become my boyfriend one day, but then Selena stole my phone again and the boy's number was lost forever. I got so mad that I told my mom to kick my sister out on the streets. She responded, good decision, and our rent contract for this apartment expires this Friday anyway. Selena doesn't know about it, so we'll just leave her back here. When Friday arrived, Mom told Selena to go buy some groceries. Once she had left the apartment, we put all our belongings in our car and just drove away. Mom had found us a new apartment, and it was much better than the old one. While unpacking, I was surprised to see that Mom had even taken all my sister's clothes with her. I asked her why, and she responded, To teach that brat a lesson. Wow. Until then, I didn't know how much my mom hated my sister. We had really left her with nothing. Now Selena was homeless, without a job, and without family. Of course, I felt a lot of guilt for abandoning my sister, but I had learned to distract myself by focusing on my career. Only, as time went on, I started to have more and more nightmares. In one of them, the police would knock on our door and tell me my sister had died of a drug overdose. After a year, I couldn't take it anymore and started searching for her. I contacted her best friend from high school, told me that my sister had shortly moved in with her for a while, but when her parents found out that Selena was doing drugs, they threw her out. She also told me that afterwards, Selena moved in with a drug dealer who was known for being violent. My heart started racing. I couldn't bear the idea that some man was mistreating my sister. I kept trying to track her down for six more months, but without success. I don't even know if she's still alive. I'm 18 now and starting to understand how much my sister had suffered under my mom's neglect. Selena used to be a kind girl who protected me in school. But when my mom stopped giving her the love she needed, Selena changed and resorted to drugs to temporarily feel at peace. Meanwhile, I don't know what to do with my mom. 
The way she treated my sister just because she wasn't as pretty as me makes me sick. And I often wonder if my mom really loves me. I mean, she never wants any money from me and always supports me in my career. But what if my sister Selena had been born good-looking and not me? Would my mom have thrown me out on the streets like her? I'm not sure. All I know is that I want my sister back. I wouldn't even care anymore how she treats me. I just want her to be safe and feel loved.